Okay, we are set for action here. The Penman in the road gold uniforms, which they can play at home as well, or wear at home. They are trimmed in uh, navy with the SNHU logo swooshed across the front of the jersey. Lemoyne in the home whites trimmed in green and gold. Green letters spelling Lemoyne across the chest. Our officials today are Josh Anderson, Connor Hoagland, and Joey Reyes. And we just saw one of the most awkward jump balls that you early on. Washington, just three minutes gone by. Lemoyne still looking for its first point. Here's Elmore with a little baby hook that floats in off the front rim. Elmore's first bucket Look, holds high overhead. And it gets a wobbly pass over to Davis. Davis drives baseline, reverse layup is up and good. And the Dolphins have scored twice inside to cut it to one. Very young team on the floor for Lemoyne right now. Sanders lost the, the footing, leads to a breakout for Lemoyne and a slam dunk in transition by Elmore. That was sweet, just like the treats you'll find at Stewart Shops. I'm sure. Sutherland drives to the hoop, shot rolls off the rim, a fight for the rebound, Johnson puts it up and in, and the Dolphins doing it inside, ties the score. Play, a reset of the shot clock to 20. Yeah, hard to believe there wasn't a foul call there. A lob down low to Sutherland, he floats it up and in from the left baseline for his first point. Out to Wingfield. Wingfield into the paint. Back out to Constant, right wing. Constant, pull-up jumper, well defended and good. And that's Lemoyne's first basket from outside the paint. Southern New Hampshire to take its largest lead, 22-16. Here's a three to answer by Davis. That's good, and Lemoyne's finally got its first triple. He outlets to Constant. Constant. Down the center of the court, over the right side, a three to tie by Davis. That's good. Back-to-back -back threes by Davis, and we're all even at 22. Dolphins looking to regain the lead. Here's a three-pointer by Wilson for the lead. That's good. Three straight triples for Lemoyne. Defense. Wilson, bounce entry to Nasseri. Nasseri spins around one man, has a look, and lays it up and in with the left hand. And he's a righty. They're not played games because of COVID. They can't practice either. So many it's of true. these teams in the league have not been able to practice for Washington a while. lost the ball, gets it back, and goes up for a dunk. His first dunk is the Dolphin. And it, a lob to an open Nino Hernandez, and now he's in the scorebook. Nice backdoor cut. That one, it's now a one-possession game. The Penman have fought all the way back to 36-33. Here's a three by Davis that's good to answer. Hernandez, Lemoy doesn't have the numbers. Jump pass into the corner. Here's Washington for a three. Bullseye! Jeremiah Washington's first triple. He's got five. Him out. They yeah. didn't, the penman didn't give him a target to pass to. And again, I think what we're seeing here is the jumper is up by Wilson. He knocks it down. He's got nine off the bench. His second best outing offensively as a Dolphin. In transition, a pass to Sutherland. He's got the layup on the feed by Constance. Now he leans in and takes the shot. Misses it. Gap grabs his own rebound. Up good and a foul. And he lets out a war cry. Constant, who looked like he was in trouble there. The defense was really strong for the penman. It Constant, Constant to Davis. He'll try the three left wing, bullseye! Six point swing, fourth triple for Davis. The Ferris State of Division Two. He jump stops down low. Xavier Wilson's got the layup. Big layup by Wilson on the feed by Washington. And the game is over. The Dolphins win their first game of 2022. Their first game since December 18th at Florida Southern, knocking off a very, very talented Southern New Hampshire team that will be heard from before everything is said and done this year. First off, um, you know, it obviously feels great to be back at home and winning at home, you know, after dropping three in a row. Uh, that was a huge win for us, and I thought the biggest thing for us was just the way that we prepared for the game. Um, you know, we had very intense practices over the past week. Uh, it wasn't anything personal. It was just something that we really needed, um, and we needed to match that energy and effort on the floor tonight, and I think you saw that. I mean, we held some of the some of the best scorers in the league to pretty limited numbers. Um, Beck ended up with seven. I think he had two at halftime. He's averaging 13 a game. Um, Aaron Gray ends up having a good game for them, but I thought we just limited them, and we turned them over 16 times. They only averaged nine, or nine turnovers uh, on the year. I think just a big kudos to our defense. I mean, our energy and effort on the defensive end was tremendous. Um, every shot, I thought, for the most part, was contested. Um, and we just made it very difficult for them to score the ball. And that's something we really preached over the past week. And I think you just see the balance on our team as well. I mean, they're all 10 guys that played, all 10 scored. Um, and the, the thing that made me the happiest was all 10 guys had multiple rebounds. You know, I think the only one was Jeremiah who didn't, and he had one. So every single person ends up with a rebound. Nine out of the 10 end up with multiple rebounds. And the best thing about it is your, your 5'10 guard is the one with the least amount, which has not always been the case this year. So 
great energy, great effort for us, a, a huge win. Um, you know, it was good to finally get on the winning side in January after a long pause and then last week. So overall, very happy with the team and, you know, excited for the way that we um, prepared and hopefully we can do that going into Wednesday. Yeah, it seemed like the ball pressure uh, was really elevated. Uh, you know, the guys were getting after it. Can you just kind of maybe talk about, you know, how that opens up your game? You guys have a lot of athletic, dynamic guards that can get out and run. So, you know, what does that, you know, increased ball pressure do for you? I think it just is why we recruited those guys. I mean, honestly, guys. I mean, honestly, you look at kids like, you know, Kevin and Zyever, Jeremiah, um, even Nino and Christian can really guard the basketball. And then we have forwards who we can switch on to the ball handlers and they can sit down and guard as well. And you're starting to see that athleticism kind of take over late in games, down the stretch, and especially when we get out and get on runs because we're getting block shots, steals, easy baskets on the other end. That's how we built our lead today. So, um, you know, just the athleticism and the activity on the defensive end was huge for us. You know, bench points seemed like a big thing today. You had 30 points from the bench uh, compared to just eight for, for the opponents. You know, what kind of luxury is it to have guys like Xavier Wilson? You brought Kevin Thompson off the bench today, but just a lot of weapons off the bench that can do a lot of different great things for you on the offensive end. I mean, yeah, again, kind of back to the mentality we had recruiting. Uh, you know, all 14 guys that we have on our roster can play at this level, and um, the 10 that were out there today really stepped up and, and supported each other. I thought that was, you know, one of the big things I liked was our energy last Saturday was pretty down, um, and a lot of that was on the bench. And you see that when guys sub in, they're not engaged. Other teams go on runs. Today, everybody was engaged on the bench, and we came in. It was just like a wave after wave, and I thought, you know, you're starting to see the depth that we have come to fruition when, when we have games like this. Thank you, Coach. Yep, absolutely.